Okay, so we're going to take a walk the second day at Outer Banks and just to share with you I videotape this. Okay, so this is our second day at the Outer Banks, and we decided to take a walk up to the beach. It rained the night before, and as you can see, there's a lot of water. Um, if you look at this boardwalk that we're walking across, that's normally over a foot high above the ground. Um, so you can see that it's, you know, some areas it's right up to the, to the top, so it's almost like a a pier instead of a boardwalk. Um, the night before it rained really hard and, and, and probably doubled the amount of water that, that's on the area. As you can see, as we heard, this is our path to the beach and it's very windy as you can tell by Diane holding her hat. <laughs> and you know, we, we, we come up here and again you can just see how wet it is everywhere. And so we're walking up towards the beach, and, and this is, you know, Joaquin is probably out there, you know, in the ocean, not too far from us. And so we're getting a lot of the effect of that, you know, thankfully overcast, but not a lot of rain on Sunday, a little sprinkles here and there, a lot during the night. Um, but, you know, as we get closer, you know, we get up to the... Um, the stairs and, and, and make our trek up to the beach, you'll see what, what we ran into. Obviously Zephyr's very excited about going to the beach. Yes, she doesn't let the weather bother her. She doesn't seem to mind the water. Yeah, this, this, whole, this whole thing is a big adventure for her, hence the Zephyr travels. Maverick is behind us. He goes a little slower. He's walking behind me. I'm holding the camera. So he, he travels a little bit slower, but he's he's also very excited about the, coming to the beach. He enjoys it too. So these are the stairs. This is a sandbar and, and the ocean is just over the, the top of this. So we have to make our way up this to get to the, uh, the beach. And then there's a set of stairs down the other side, which is about the same amount. As we're getting up here, we're noticing that it's getting windier. And windier. Yeah, and you're also starting to notice as you go up the next set of steps, the wind is picking up sand. And it's blowing sand in our faces, too. Um, so this is the final set of steps, and we're starting to feel the sand. We're starting to feel the strong winds. I mean, this wind is, is probably about 30 miles an hour. It's very, very strong. Yep, see the sand hits you. You can see it's sand on the steps and everything, too. You can see it. So here's what we saw. Basically, very rough seas, and what should be a beach down there is pretty much non-existent. As you notice off in the distance, there's the red flag for, uh, you know, beach warning, no swimming, and obviously you wouldn't want to go out swimming in this. It was very, very rough, very windy. So, we decided it wasn't worth it to turn around. We decided, yeah, to turn around and go back. So we, we're walking back and we decided, well, we got to take a walk anyway. So we, we uh, took a turn here off to one of the uh, other sides of the area and decided to walk through some of the uh, buildings or some of the other um, beach houses. Some areas had no water at all. Yeah, yeah some areas it wasn't really too bad. And as, once you got in within the, the buildings and stuff, the wind's not as bad either. The buildings kind of block it a little bit. So we cut it. We, Made a turn right up here and come out on this side. Now there's some more water here. Um, as you can see, it's still very, very wet um, in this area. And it was funny because we went to the store yesterday um, and the main road was flooded. And there was one section where everyone was kind of driving through real slow, and it was probably over a foot of water in there. All the water over here. I felt bad for the, you know, we got the edge, which is kind of high and off the ground, but I felt bad for the people with little cars because they were pretty deep into the water. But they made it through. So thankfully, this is nothing like the people have in, um, yeah. Yeah, we've been 
watching the news and, and that. And, What's that? You know, we just need a couple of dry days, and, and yeah. this will, you know, go back, and by the end of the week, it probably well, will be gone. Except for you're not that wet. Um, yeah, the weather forecast is saying that we got Monday and, and Tuesday probably of, um, you know, wet weather, but th Wednesday and Thursday are looking to be very sunny and warm. So we'll probably take off, you know, a lot of this water. So coming up here, there's the disappearing truck. It was there, now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just more of the beach houses along the area. There's hardly anybody here. I think um, maybe one out of 10 houses had somebody in it. I mean, I know our, our building, there's um, eight condos in it and we're the only ones in the whole building. So there's very, very few people here this time of year. I suppose all the rain and hurricanes and stuff is probably a reason why not. Yeah, that's true. I kind of wonder when you look at all this water, some of these places the water is pretty high and they have swimming pools. I imagine it can't be too good for the swimming pools if it's flooding over into them. Just another little walk around the neighborhood. Um, wanted to share that with you. We'll share some more videos as we as our days progress. So see ya.